Okay, everybody. Hi, Silvers. We're just back from Mountain View. Hi, Silvers. Oh, hi, Neelix. Hi, Sweetie Pie. She's like, you. Do I leave one out first? Mm, maybe I'll try to get me like that first so that I can make sure she gets her bed. This could be a bit of a challenge. Because she's sort of in the middle. So they were very good at the bed. Good girl. Very good. All three of them. I'm very proud of them. They all came in the same oh, crate together so that they would feel safer. Oh gosh. Oops. Sorry. I didn't quite. Oh, no. I had the other blanket was stuck underneath it. Almost had an escape. Not quite. Not quite. <sighs> She's the hardest one to capture. Or I shouldn't say that. Well, she is the hardest, but also the. It's the most stressful for her to be captured. I don't want to have to release her and then get her again. Um, so Neelix, we. I took her in. Um, because her incision was looking a bit uh, inflamed. This is something that seems to be unique to the colony cats, but it's happened in uh, a couple of them. They just have a strange sort of flora and they get, they have strange reactions sometimes um, that we don't see with other cats. We don't exactly know why, but but it does, it looks better than it did um, when I first noticed it. Um, she's been on antibiotics for a couple of days. So um, we're just continuing antibiotics for a couple more days to finish out the seven day cycle. So she's gonna get, but she said I could do once a day instead of twice a day, which is nice. A little bit of a bigger dose. Raise your little face. So she did quite well. She wasn't excited about being caught, but she was quite um, she was quite well behaved. So I'm just gonna find her face, and I'm not gonna bug her too much. I know. Where's your Where's your little mouth? I know you're a good girl. She's like, have you not? Poked and prodded me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, little mama. Oh my goodness. Well, all right. <laughs> there we go. So there she's gonna go up and go to her happy place. So that's good. I did her first. Good job. Good job. She's fine though. Let's see. There she is. It's fine. Sloney, maybe we'll do a Sloney next. You're a good girl. You can come out. Sloney mostly just came along for um, moral support and. Um, so just to get her nose checked out. She banged her nose up a little bit um, when uh, she was in the crate, when um, Kimsey's was getting Maribel. And so, but, uh, and also just uh, wanted to get a check on their itchy ears 
and we gave him a little uh, something called Suralan, which will help with itching from the ear mites. Right? But you got a clean bill of health. And uh, her nose is fine. It's healing. It will just take a couple more, more days to heal. But there. Oh, it's such a good girl. Such a good girl. You were very brave. So brave. So you don't have to have any meds except we're gonna do some we're gonna do eardrops for a couple of days till you're not so itchy. So they did really, really well um, at the vet. I was very proud of them. Yes, you you were very brave. You can see she's still pretty itchy though from her ears, so hopefully this stuff will help help with the irritation. Hi, Mila. You're so cute. We'll have to have some makeup tuna later. Yes. Oh, look how look how perfectly you fit in my lap hole. It's so perfect. And you're in your cloud. And you can have, oh, are you ready for a little snack? What do you think? Do you want a little, a little snack? So we got clean bill of health for this Loney. Keep the wedgie. Yeah, the eardrops are to uh, help with the inflammation just from having the ear mites in there. We have treated the ear mites already, um, but it does take it does take uh, three weeks for um, the entire life cycle of the ear mite. So sometimes you have to treat them twice to get everything. Um, but they're very itchy, so even even after you've eradicated the adult ear mites, um, the bites continue to itch, so um, this Suralan will help reduce inflammation and irritation from the bites. So she'll feel better faster. What a good girl. Did you still, did you ever think that you'd see Sloane like this? She's so little. She just fits right in my lap. Um, we, I did blacklight them when, when we brought them in and didn't see any fluorescing. Um, Maravel has some patchy spots, but I think they are from scratching from ear mites or from, um, a bite, a healing bite wound, or something like that, rather than ringworm. Um, I didn't do a PCR because, uh... I didn't want to get a false positive, or not a false positive, but I didn't want to get a positive from them having like just environmental contamination. Um, I would rather be in denial unless, unless there's a reason to suspect something. But typically adults would be less likely to be positive and because, because every, all the ringworm we've seen so far has fluoresced, um, I feel fairly confident um, and I am doing um, like full clothing changes and very thorough hand washing and all that stuff just to prevent anything from spreading from these guys to the kittens. So um, even if they did have ringworm, it wouldn't be the end of, I mean, it would not be great, but it wouldn't be the end of the world from a contagion perspective. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Oh, that's nice. But um, we are, I did post about um, 
if anyone's interested in adopting them, um, please do apply. It's not something that, I mean, we're, we're going to try to find like the perfect home for them. So um, someone who understands and appreciates their feral roots and that they are on a path to socialization but are not completely socialized yet. Um, someone who will continue working with them. And Neelix is, um, Neelix is still sort of, it's uncertain. Um, even though we have had some breakthroughs, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure how she will ultimately feel about humans. But um, she does get along really well with these two so far, and when the humans are not around, she's pretty happy. She's pretty content and playing and stuff. So I, I don't think I don't think she's suffering by staying here another week or two while we continue to assess the situation. And if an amazing home did come along for all three of them, then I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but no, nothing is in concrete at this point. So if you're interested, tinykittens.com slash adopt. Are you thinking about going? Do you want to have a little snack first? I hear the Maravel in there. I hear the snarfles. Um, so we learned something new today at the vet about Marivelle that he may be a chronic snuffler, <laughs> which is actually a thing, chronic, chronic snuffler, um, because he's had such persistent upper respiratory symptoms. So, uh, but we are going to treat and hope that he responds to treatment because he's never had treatment before. Look, you're white underneath too. Who knew? You're not white underneath here, though. No. You're very beautiful. Are you gonna go exploring? She says, that's not tuna. You're supposed to only offer me tuna. Should we see what your little pal Maribel's doing in there? I'm going to get his meds ready. So Maribel is getting um, something called Serenia, which helps with um, nasal congestion. but is more commonly used for nausea. It's quite strange, but, but uh, in some cats, some cats respond very positively to this for um, nasal congestion. So he's gonna get a half of one of these for four days. I could break it at the line. But here we go. So we'll see how he how he feels about that. And then he's gonna get his doxycycline. Nine, two. We got the big dose. That's 
the big boo. once a day would be better. You're so cute. You can stay here. We'll try to do Maribel mids. At the same time, he might not want to come out and see us. So. Hi, buddy. You were so brave at the vet. We were all very proud of you. Do you even want to come out and see me? We were all very proud of you. Yes. Are you a chronic snuffler? Are you a chronic snuffler? Are you going to try to it's run away somewhere? There's a new ex is up there. Boy. Did you have a big day? Should we have your meds before you leave me? Uh, let's try. I know, buddy. Do you think that you will go in here and you can sit on slowly a little bit? There. That's a good boy. You know, I'm going to give you some of this. Poor guy. Poor guy. Oh, no, where are you going? I know. I know. You want to go run away and hide. So we have to do your mid. This is going to be a big messy dose, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to do it in two like last time. You were not very happy about it. There. Good job. Good job. I know that's me. Here, have a little, have a little tuna. You can just forget the whole thing. There. There. Oops. There's still your tuna on this one. Good boy. What a good boy. He has big giant paws. Now, oh, Neelix is going to come down and pee at all for me. Hey, Tommy, down. So, uh, Dr. Henderson said that we should show you. Of course, he's not in a very good angle for me. Ooh. The uh, cat hold. Might be a bit challenging. Yeah, if you sit squash slowly a little bit differently. So if you need to do pill pilling for a cat, do you see Neelix behind me? If you need to pill a cat, there's a way to hold them. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. I know, buddy. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, and you must have like that. She ran away. Are you good? Wait till you're done. Have some tuna to cleanse the palate. you a girl just then. I'm sure they did. So anyway, I don't know if I can actually do it from this angle. I may just do it the old school way. But basically, and with another another cat on my lap. 
It's a little bit like this. That was, that was a, a little bit like it. A little water wash it down. Yes. He says, no, thank you. Oh no, we, dro we dropped it on the Sloney. We dropped the water on the Sloney. Oh no, sorry. Did that, I hope that didn't go in your ear. There. Now I have two cats. Two cats on my lap. Make sure you have a double decker feral cat on your lap. Here, let's have some let's have some snacks. Mmm, snacks. Mmm, snacks. He says no, baby, just let me go. I've had a weird day. So let's see, is that everything you need? That's you got your doxycycline and you've got your Savinia. You don't need anything. What a good boy. I uh, don't have the results yet on his feline leukemia FIV snap test, but should have those back today. We also ran a viral panel just to see what it is that um, he does have. There's the new legs. He's coming down. He's coming down to see what's going on. Hi, do you want some tuna? We're still friends. We're still friends. That's a good girl. You're a good girl. You're a good boy. So all in all, very good vet visit, um, but we got um, a treatment plan for Maribel, and Venus is looking better, and Sloney's looking great. So that's good. Everyone's ears should be feeling better. part of the action, but she's not quite sure. No, what a good boy. What a good boy. Hi, Nick. Don't you come over there? She just wants to see her friend. Are you going to leave now? Or are you just getting more comfy? Oh, you're so cute. Mia looks it's so cute in her little fern. She's so cute in her little fur. Do you want a snack? Do you want a snack? Mm -hmm. I know it's, you have to be brave to come get it though. You have to be brave. So I'm not quite brave enough yet. But you can see she's um, she's coming out of her shell a bit. Oh, look at that handsome Maribel, so handsome. He's so cute. Why did you come have a little snack? <laughs> You're so handsome. Are you going to come over here? Are you going to come see me? Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. Neelix and Sloany have already tested negative for feline leukemia FIV, so that's good. Look at my little lap cat. My little lap cat. Neelix. You should come down here.
Wait, you can back there. Aren't you so cute? So cute. I was getting belly rubs from Sloney. I mean, she, I was getting her belly rubs yesterday. It was very special. What's your friend doing up there? Having a little bath. Oh, you're having a little snack. Does that sound good? Do you want a little snack? Do you want a snack? Mmm, a snack. You can come get it. Your coat's not very nice right now, but it will be. It's not very nice yet. But it will be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have my garbage. Mm -hmm. He's so pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. Why is she getting committed us again? What a good girl. What a good girl. Oh, look who's being brave.
interested in a snack, huh? Well, Neelix was having a little snack. I know you like snacks. You sound like you're a little interested. No, no takers. No takers on my snack. You're so cute. You're such a handsome boy. Me, like, come on. Want some tuna? Do you want some tuna? You can be down. Apology for the vet tuna. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There's more down here, you know. Look, all this. You can have all this. Mmm. So tasty. You want to know? It's very tasty. Oh. Mm. What a good girl. You were so brave. We should do a close up. Look at that adorable face. Look, I've got some snacks on my pants. Now I'm trapped. Wow, it's 5.30 already. Where does the time go? Tomorrow is a big day for Cassidy because we are going to get his, get another CT scan done. Since he's grown, since his last one, he's grown too much, so he's getting another one which means I have to get up really early. And so we'll be gone most of the day.
scab there. There we go. A little armpit scab. Now I'm going to take a nap with everybody. <laughs> Just kidding. I want to. Now she's sleeping and I'm... Oh, all the tabbies are up there snuggling. The tabbies are snuggling. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. Should we go join the tabbies up there? Do you think that might be nice? She likes a tummy rub. Tummy rub. Wow, you have some tiny nipples now. Do you look like they haven't even been used? Are you gonna roll over? Is that too much information? Is that too much information? Hi. Feels like your mouth is open. Can we go up to the shelf and you can snuggle with your friends too? And then maybe I can pet them a little. Look how cute she is. Oh. Remember when you used to want to rip my face off every time you saw me? You're so cute. Your friend Lori's going to come visit you tonight. She's going to come visit you and she's going to come to you. I'm smelling some food. Want some food? You want the, you want the good stuff, don't you? 
Ini dikit dah. You poor little nose is like so sore. Mm, so cute. So cute. Oh, your tattoo is good. It's very readable. Very readable. Oh, you're so cute. Are you very That's nice. That's nice. These little white toes don't show up on this white pillow. There we go. That's better. Muggle tabbies up there. They're so cute. Hmm. So. Oh, good job. She is purring, yes. She is purring. You probably can't hear over the sound of my laptop fan. Cassidy has, um, his new trick is climbing the upholstered headboard at like 2 in the morning just when I'm going to bed. And he has figured out a way to like, um, pull his bandages off using the top of the headboard. So I've been up re-bandaging him till like 3 in the morning the last two nights. Because he's very resourceful. And I have to have both of his thumbs bandaged now so it takes twice as long. Right? Try to keep them both protected. Oh. Mm -hmm. I tried to get a video of it, but it was 
dark. And I was too slow. You're so cute. Mm. What do you think? Do you want to go see your little friends? Is this snack? Your ears are itching. I know they'll feel better by tomorrow. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Oh. Cassidy can only use the wheelchair when I'm directly supervising him. I can't leave him alone in the wheelchair, so at night he doesn't wear it. Wait. Wait. He gets, he, there are too many ways he can get into trouble in it, so. So, like, when I'm at the vet or when I'm in here, he's not wearing No owners. You are so magical and beautiful. I guess I have to go before my battery dies. You're gonna need to be terminated too. You and Mr. Let's see if we can reposition the camera without She's licking, she's bathing the, um, bed there. She's bathing the bed. Okay. Let's see if we can get one final pet in for everybody. For everybody. Tuna. Right? Someone got fluff on my face. Someone got me fluffy face. This is for me, like. Very delicate. She's doing so well with this. This is a good girl. That's a good girl. Can I pet you? Oh, mm -hmm. How are you, Tina? No, she's not. Oh, maybe? There you go. Mmm. See? It's hard when you can't smell it very well, but you can taste it. Whoops. 
Maybe there's a whole thing of food here if you want it. There you go. <laughs> One more. We can have slow meat. Oh, that plate of purr. The big of purr you have going on there. Good girl. My hands on the tuna. Oh, such a good boy. What a good boy. I put this food right here if you want them. Okay. I'm gonna make some biscuits. You so sweet. Awesome. You get some belly ones. Oh, you can't see Sloane very much back there. Oh, look. Oh, look. So special. 